My name is Marianne Richter and I'm 23 years old and I just moved to Portland about a month and a half, almost two months ago and I'm a first year occupational therapy student at Pacific University. So every morning I get up and I take the bus to Pioneer Square and uh, get off the bus and then I hop on the MAX. That runs right through campus um, so I get off the MAX and then I just walk into the building. I like it. It's amazing. I mean you can use it to get anywhere pretty much within the Portland metro area. It's pretty amazing. I think they've got a great system going and the MAX runs like I don't know, a lot. <laughs> I don't know if it's every 10 or 15 minutes or what it is, but it's really convenient. So if you miss one, at least you can get the next. I'm a first year occupational therapy student at Pacific University. Looking to help uh, pretty much younger children who are having trouble writing, uh, because writing is so important, like we were talking about in class. I mean, you can have these brilliant ideas, but you're not going to be able to put them on paper unless you have the ability to write or express them somehow. I've always been interested in therapy and helping people, so that's something that I want to do with my life. Um, I definitely want to try and change someone's life. I get to see all the, all the aspects, like what goes into each activity. Each activity is super detailed and you don't even realize it. So that's pretty cool to look beyond what normal people see. I live in Southeast and I think it's a really cool place to live. There's a lot going on, especially farther north from where I live, around the Hawthorne District and Belmont. Uh, there are a lot of small shops that are really cute. I really like the city of Portland. I think it's an amazingly inviting place. I remember the first time I got here, I pretty much started school right away. And so I was pretty overwhelmed and people on the bus just kept talking to me. <laughs> And it was really refreshing and really nice. If that's a problem, then I think the city is doing pretty well for itself. If the people are too nice, I think that's great. There's a lot to do. There's a, so much to do in Portland. And it's so fun. Like, in Portland, you can be a kid, and it's totally okay. It just, it reminds you that life is good, and, and life is worth living, and doing silly things is awesome. I mean, I went to last Thursday, and it was just amazing. Like all this art and creativeness and just everything going on, people being silly. I like this Toucan Sam ukulele band, that was the best thing in the world. <laughs> it was so much fun just to be silly and um, I think they do, as a, as a city, Portland does a great job of reminding people to have fun. I guess that's something that Portland has introduced to me is that like always being stimulated and, and challenged to think and challenged to be a little creative. Definitely. My favorite thing about the city, I like how it looks at night. If you drive along the Willamette on the eastern side, you just drive north, you just get this beautiful view of the city. And it's just gorgeous, like built into these hills and all the lights just kind of sparkling with the river valley right there. It's so pretty. Yeah, I do. I feel like the public transportation obviously here allows me to get to school and there is a school here in the first place so that's pretty great. <laughs> but uh, I think recreationally I love to play ultimate frisbee and there's a huge group of people out here that also play. So yeah, I mean for things outside of school I'm definitely, I definitely have access to them which is great. And crafting, I really like to crochet and craft and knit and there are a million craft stores here. I think there's pretty much something here for everyone. There's definitely a lot of opportunities to do what you love. Mm -hmm.